Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jens Buffers and on this channel here we talk about skincare, hair care and all those sort of things that supposed to make you look good for a really long time. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about something called quercetin. And uh, you might have heard about that for many years basically. But um, there are actually some uh, issues with it as to how you are ingesting it so how should you actually take it and uh, we will talk a, a little bit about that uh, later in uh, the videos i show you uh, what i'm doing when i am taking that as uh, supplement now why would i take a uh, quercetin at all well i've read uh, a little bit about it and uh, first of all when i uh, first noticed it was a little bit uh, when we were talking about gray hair and that uh, sort of thing so uh, I have to looked a little bit more into it and found out uh, what is actually going on because um, there were some that was already asking me a little bit about uh, quercetin and I've said that it has something to do with the antioxidant uh, effect. But how uh, is uh, the antioxidant effect actually working? Well, uh, it turns out that uh, when you are uh, in your cell, then um, there is something called NADPH. Uh, oxidase and uh, that is basically something that is uh, sort of like it's good to have because uh, if you have uh, an invasion of uh, a bacteria or something like that you would like uh, those uh, enzymes to be really active and produce a lot of hydrogen peroxide but uh, you don't want too much uh, hydrogen peroxide in your body and certainly you don't want something that is called um, super uh, oxides though that is something that is uh, really uh, dangerous so uh, there is uh, that little thing with um, these enzymes and they are like they are good when you have a, a bacteria infestation but uh, if you have uh, too much of activity going on then uh, you are basically uh, destroying uh, your cells and that is unfortunately something that happens when you get a little bit older so uh, there are people who have uh, issues with uh, these uh, enzymes basically because uh, they are not producing enough. So there's some sort of like a genetic uh, condition. So they have a immune system that is not working that well. So that is not really um, the issue when you're going into old age because those people that have a lot of issues. But uh, when you're going into uh, old age, you just start to have these sort of like uh, issues that you normally are seeing uh, in old age, so like like uh, heart issues, so and gray hair, and uh, you're just seeing um, a deterioration uh, of the the body basically. So there is a, a lot of things like uh, Parkinson's and um, dementia and all those sort of things that has uh, something to do with uh, these um, enzymes and these uh, NADPH uh, oxidases. And uh, there are various of them in the body and they are in various sort of like a uh, tissue. So they are sort of like a uh, tissue specific if you like. And uh, they are working in a certain way that uh, they are actually, um, they need uh, something that is called a cytosolic protein and uh, it needs to be uh, sort of like uh, connected to these uh, oxidases. And when they are that, then they are working so the thing is actually that uh, when you are taking a uh, quercetin then uh, that little sort of like a subunit that is uh, supposed to be connected to uh, the oxidase for the oxidase to actually work then uh, you can actually suppress uh, that so uh, something called a heme oxygenase and that is um, basically something that is um, being upregulated when you're taking a uh, quercetin and when that is uh, upregulated then uh, you are actually suppressing the body's production of this uh, subunit that is uh, needed in order to, uh, for uh, the uh, oxidase uh, to do its thing so in order to produce hydrogen peroxide so this is all a little bit uh, sort of like, uh, complicated but uh, the issue is that uh, when these uh, oxidases they are working uh, too much then you are producing firstly a superoxide and from there you are producing hydrogen peroxide so those things they are oxidants and they are basically destroying our body but there is something else and that is called a hypochlorous acid and that is something that is produced by uh, another um, enzyme uh, in uh, the body and uh, that is uh, something that can actually work on the uh, chloride and that is so that hydrogen peroxide together with chloride that will actually uh, produce something that is called a hypochlorous acid and that is something that is even worse and it will also destroy uh, your um, your cells or basically uh, your body so you don't want uh, a lot of that so how does uh, quercetin uh, help you against that well first of all it is helping you to make your body produce less hydrogen peroxide so in that instance that's already a good start but then also it is actually uh, stopping uh, this is called the mpo uh, myelo um, peroxidase and uh, that is uh, being uh, stopped by a uh, quercetin because it actually um, connects uh, with it so it makes sure that uh, it cannot work so in that sense it uh, makes it um, unworkable so that's a really good thing so uh, quercetin you can get that from uh, your diet 
but uh, if you have a, a problem as in old age i guess you would need to eat a lot of um, vegetables in order to get enough uh, quercetin into your body so i would say that uh, it is better to take uh, a supplement and uh, i have been taking uh, this supplement for the last month so uh, it's basically it uh, comes uh, in a package like this i buy from a bulk supplements and i have nothing to do with them it's just the only place where i could find something that i trusted was the real thing now there is a that little thing and that is uh, when you would like to start to to use it you are putting it into uh, water and there will be people there just well i just get it in a capsule and just take it like that and yeah okay uh, the thing is just that uh, with the q10 uh, there is uh, some uh, sort of uh, issues with uh, how to have it um so like taken up in your body because uh, as with the q10 then uh, quercetin here is like green powder it will not really uh, dissolve in water so you need to basically uh, dissolve it in some uh, fat and uh, what i have done is that i have uh, basically warmed it up so i've spoken before about how i'm taking my amino acids i am warming that up in in hot water and usually i just put boiling water over it but uh, maybe i could just leave it for 80 degrees or something like that so celsius so uh, but normally i just take uh, hot water uh, over the boiling water and just let it sit for a little while and then it sort of like uh, goes into uh, the solution and sort of like uh, easier to take up but uh, when you're adding a uh, quercetin to it then uh, you sort of like um, need uh, the hot water because you can have uh, the hot water with sort of like a uh, make it the, uh, the quercetin more uh, soluble in the water but still it's not good enough so what i have done lately is that when i'm making my uh, mix then i am actually taking the quercetin and put into the mix and i put the boiling water over it and after that i actually take uh, some slices of butter and i uh, put that into the mix and let that sort of like melt and then i'm just like shaking it up a little bit and then i know that because of the hot water then uh, the quercetin will be more uh, diluted in the water but uh, when i add uh, the butter which will be melted and be hot as well then uh, the um, quercetin will actually go into the uh, fat uh, solution so the fat phase so the oily phase if you like and uh, thereby uh, you are having these sort of like um, fat micelles around it and that means that your body will take it up a lot better now uh, usually people are saying that you need to take about uh, 500 milligrams in the morning and uh, in the evening and uh, I have taken about a uh, one gram uh, over the day, so that means uh, 500 milligrams in the morning and 500 milligrams in the evening. And uh, I will say that uh, after having done that for a while, the first thing I noticed, I think after a couple of days or maybe a week or something like that, as I mentioned on the community tab, then uh, I looked in my mirror and uh, oftentimes when you're looking in the mirror every day you notice very like um, little differences and one of the things that I noticed was that um, my skin became more plump in the sense that particularly when I looked uh, underneath my eyes then uh, this very um, fine skin under here sort of like it uh, was more fuller it's not like I before had really sunken in eyes and and that sort of thing i, I did not have that but it's more like a, a little subtle sort of like extra like plumpness that i felt and i thought it was sort of more like a, a plumpness that you would see on people that are a lot uh, younger than i am so i thought okay this is uh, going in the, the right direction so uh, i looked up uh, various things and there was something like a uh, calcium uh, channels uh, in the cells and that sort of thing and apparently uh, quercetin is sort of like uh, regulating them so they are basically stimulating them to take more uh, calcium uh, into the cells and uh, calcium that is uh, an electrolyte and that means that the more electrolytes you have in the cell the more water will come into the cell as well and i thought maybe that is why my skin was a little bit more plumped up uh, than it uh, normally was so in general i say that uh, when i looked at my skin i felt that it seems um, more clear and in general feels uh, a little bit more plump i it's not that I did not have plump skin before because as you can see uh, on my other videos I do have sort of like a plump skin particularly for my age which is uh, 48 and uh, I think that a little bit more plumpness has uh, occurred and when I looked uh, into all the things that quercetin are, are doing then it's all like it uh, makes sense to believe that uh, your body will respond in a very positive way if you are taking a uh, quercetin so that is uh, something I will continue uh, to do and uh, if I notice uh, more things I would uh, let you know uh, if uh, quercetin is doing um, more things uh, for me and uh, one of the things obviously is that a lot of people here they are talking about a uh, gray hair so they're asking me a lot about a uh, gray hair and what I do and I will say that I have spoken a lot about uh, what I've done 
and uh, I have spoken about uh, Q10 and definitely I would say uh, Q10 that is something that you should uh, add to your uh, supplement and do it uh, in the way that I have spoken about in some of my other videos and definitely I would say uh, something like uh, quercetin particularly because it helps the body to produce less uh, hydrogen peroxide so that the hydrogen peroxide that is uh, being produced in the body is more a control so that is only produced when it's actually needed and it's not overproduced because if you're producing a lot of hydrogen peroxide in your body then uh, you will actually uh, damage uh, your hair and you damage a lot of other things in your body but something that is very noticeable that is uh, that your hair will start to be uh, gray i don't think that you can uh, avoid having gray hair forever but uh, one of the things uh, that we try on this channel here is to sort of like um, stem the tide of malice from this sort of a gray hair as uh, long as we can because uh, one of the things with gray hair is it's not just about how it looks it also is something about that actually tells you a little bit about what is going on in your body so we have a lot of gray hair very early on maybe uh, one of the issues could be that you have a uh, too much hydrogen peroxide going on uh, in the body for various reasons so i would say uh, one of the things i would do uh, would take uh, something like a uh, quercetin as well as some of the other things that I've already spoken about in some of my other videos. So yes, if you'd like to see more of this sort of videos, please subscribe to the bell and do all the things that we do in order to be notified when I upload more of this sort of videos. Thank you for watching, see you, bye.